Your real name's Josh. That's a horrible porn name, dude. <laughs> Now, we have a celebrity coming to the stage, ladies and gentlemen. Who here likes celebrities? Who here likes luxury? This celebrity flown all the way from North Carolina to be here with you this evening. One of the greatest basketball players of all time. Decided he was gonna take him stand-up comedy, apparently. Ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to make some amazing fucking noise for Mr. Michael Jordan. Thanks, Mike, thank you, thank you. You're white. Yes, I am, yes, I am. All right, so as I took the stage, I mean, he leaned over to a friend and whispered, that's not Michael Jordan. Maybe Jeff Foxworthy. Fuck Jeff Foxworthy! Oh, if you were a redneck. <laughs> yeah, my name is Michael Jordan. I had it first. That other guy's made quite a name for myself. And I don't mind the comments that I get. Oh, you look taller on TV. Oh. I do have one big problem with having the name of Michael Jordan. You guys have any idea how hard it is for me to get a username on the internet? Michael Jordan or any variation thereof in this galaxy is taken. Woo! I tried Michael Jordan, Mike Jordan, M. Jordan, MJ. I had to use Kobe Bryant. So I'm not him. Let's hear it for all the lovely ladies tonight, huh? Oh, man, they are awesome. I have to tell you, I am 62 years old, and this is my first burlesque show. I have never been to a show like this. This is awesome. And I just have to wonder, why did they invite a 62-year-old man to perform at a burlesque show? And the only thing I can come up with is they wanted to see him have a heart attack. Man, you guys are awesome. Man. I want to share something a little about myself, uh, ladies. I'm single. Yeah, single. Yes, single. So if any of you young lovely ladies happen to have a single grandmother, all right, hook me up later. But if you're gonna hook me up with your granny, please, no skinny grannies. I have a problem with skinny women. Not just petite, thin, or small. I'm talking about the women that think they have to weigh 52 and a half pounds in order to look good. Like the runway models and some of the actresses, that's not healthy. So to those women, I would like to declare the rest of September as National Eat a Cheeseburger Month. Now some of you may be sitting out there thinking, but Mike, how do I know if I need to eat a cheeseburger? Well, I've come up with a few questions that you can ask yourself. And if you answer yes to any one of them, you need to eat a cheeseburger. Question number one. Do you wear spandex because you like the loose feel of it? <laughs> eat a cheeseburger. Have you never had belly button lint? Eat a cheeseburger. Does your chest and your ribs look like a Halloween costume? Oh, yeah. Eat a cheeseburger. Are necrophiliacs hitting on you? Eat a cheeseburger! Are your thighs and your ankles the same size? Eat a cheeseburger! And if, when you wear a thong, and you go running on the beach, and the back strap just swings back and forth as you run, say it with me, people. Eat a cheeseburger! Yeah. 
You know the ladies are looking nice tonight. My, they look, they look totally awesome. I'm the old creepy guy tonight, okay? Yeah, me too. But you know they they look awesome, but they don't smell great. They don't smell great because the perfume manufacturers have got this all wrong. Ladies, if you want to attract a man or keep the one that you have. You should be smelling like a steak on a grill. <laughs> a Johnsonville brock. Oh, yeah. Bacon. Yes. Bacon. How about a little WD-40 behind your ears? <laughs> and for you hunting ladies, a little gun oil down the cleavage. How about smelling like beer or pizza or both? Both. I tell you, if you smell like beer and pizza, I guarantee your man's going to be on you like hair on soap. And the same thing goes for us guys. We're wearing the wrong stuff. Guys, no more spicy this or cowboy that. We need to be smelling like new money. Nah, fuck chaps. Ferrari leather, the smell of a half-off shoe sale. Woo! Yeah. And we can define the smell a little bit. For a guy to wear the kind of cologne that attracts the woman that he likes. For example, I like a woman with curves and a little meat on her bones. So that's why tonight I'm wearing lobster butter. It's hard to get off, but hey, all I have to do is just... Roll down the buffet line. Pick up the women. Well, I'd like to leave y'all with a few bits of wisdom that I've learned in my life, and hopefully one or two of them will help you out. Fuck yeah, wisdom! Wisdom, yeah. yes! Wisdom is good. Bit of wisdom number one. You do not have to get out of the shower to pee. Bit of wisdom number two, never tell your wife or girlfriend that the negligee she's wearing look better in the catalog. Oh, fuck that shit. Bit of wisdom number three, never masturbate with lava soap. And bit of wisdom number four, never take a sleeping pill and a laxative at the same time. Fuck yeah, laxative! Hey, that's my time. I'm Michael Jordan. Enjoy the rest of the show. You ladies are awesome. Thanks, Mike. The White Michael Jordan.